Built in the 1800s, Ballarat's bacon factory has been vacant for 50 years. But at last, its owners have a reason to dust off the cobwebs. A biennale of Australian art. And I just thought, wow, this is what we've been waiting for. Over the next six weeks, 1,500 artworks by 150 Australian artists will be on display. A project called Automotive Geologies, uh, which is literally car components that have been chopped up and reimagined into kind of hybrid geological forms. Including here at the old George Farmer pork factory. Very raw space and I really wanted these um, precious high gloss sort of beautiful objects to sit in this sort of decaying basement. It's going to be an explosion of art in a really big international way. The Biennale is based on a European model, with painters, performers, musicians and sculptors aiming to inject new life into forgotten parts of the city. None of the Biennales are in the capital cities, and Ballarat for me is the perfect scale town for an event like this. It will give emerging and established Australian artists a new platform to show off their work. It can be negative, it can be positive, it can be I like it, I don't. But just having any um, project that creates a public dialogue around the visual arts is just so exciting. 100,000 people are expected to visit Ballarat over the next six weeks. That's the equivalent of the city's entire population just dropping in to take a look. I think we're going to see a Ballarat renaissance of people coming here with new ideas and I think it's a coming of age not only for Australian audiences but for Ballarat as a town. Putting Ballarat front and centre on the Australian art landscape. Dominic Hansdale, ABC News, Ballarat.